of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Grace, mercy, and peace to us from God our Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. You are in the midst of us, O Lord, and we are called by your name. Welcome to evening prayer at St. Michael and all angels in Christchurch, New Zealand. And of these days of uh, these words of prayer that we hear, we say together, and these words of scripture that we all hear, who give us guidance and give us hope in this time that we are in. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and in that day all of you will say, Give thanks and call upon the name of the Lord. Make known among the nations what the Lord has done. Proclaim that the name of the Lord is exalted. Sing praises for the Lord has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, you people of God, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And our psalm this evening is Psalm number 62. My soul truly is still and waits for God, from whom comes my deliverance. In truth, the Lord is my rock and my salvation, my tower of strength, so that I stand unshaken. How long will all of you sit upon me and batter me, as though I were a tottering wall or a leaning fence? Their purpose is to thrust me down from my eminence. They delight in lies, they bless with their lips, but curse me in their hearts. Yet be still my soul and wait for God, for whom comes my rock, my hope of deliverance. God only is my rock and my salvation, my tower of strength, so that I stand unshaken. In God is my deliverance and my honour, the rock of my strength and my place of refuge. Put your trust in God always, you people. Pour out your hearts before the one who is our refuge. For we mortals are only a puff of wind, the great among us are but illusion. Weighed in the balance, they rise upward, all of them lighter than air. Put no trust in extortion, set no vain hopes on plunder. If riches increase, do not set your heart upon them. Once God has spoken, and twice I have heard God say, Power belongs to God alone. Steadfast love, O Lord, is yours, and you reward us all according to our deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading this evening comes from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 22, beginning at verse 20. Go up to Lebanon and cry out, and lift up your voice in Bashan. Cry out to Eberim, for all you lovers are crushed. No, excuse me, for all your lovers are crushed. I spoke to you in your prosperity, but you said, I will not listen. This has been your way from your youth, for you have not obeyed my voice. The wind shall shepherd all your shepherds, and your lovers shall go into captivity. Then you will be ashamed and dismayed because of all your wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, nested among the cedars, how you will groan when pangs come upon you, pain as of a woman in labour. As I live, says the Lord, even in King Coniah, son of Jehoiakim of Judah, with the signet ring on my hand, even from there I would tear you off and give you into the hands of those who seek your life, into the hands of those whom you were, who you are afraid even into the hand of King Nebuchadrezzar of Babylon, and into the hands of the Chaldeans. I will hurl you and the mother who bore you into another country, where you were not born, and there you shall die. But they shall not return to the land to which they long to return. Is this man Kaniah 
a despised broken pot, a vessel no one wants? Why are he and his offspring hurled out and cast away in a land that they do not know? O land, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, record this man as childless, a man who shall not succeed in his days, for none of his offspring shall succeed in sitting on the throne of David and ruling again in Judah. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will, get, will gather the remnant of my flock out of the lands where I have driven them. I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he, he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Therefore, the days are surely coming, says the Lord, when it shall no longer be said, as the Lord lives who brought the people of Israel up out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who brought out and led the offspring of the house of Israel out of the land of the north and out of all the lands where, lands where he had driven them. Then they shall live in their own land. The second reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, beginning at the first verse. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii, and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. For the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Well, let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God of hope, in you we see a life that never dies. Surrounded by death and violence, may we never give in to despair, but rest in you, our resurrection and our life. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work they may, that many will be restored to health. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us here at St Michael and All Angels in Christchurch, New Zealand, for evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 5th in Lent. I hope these words uh, from the Word of God and these prayers that we have said together have given you some comfort and some guidance in the time we are in. I hope you can all join us all again tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock where we will say morning prayer together. I hope to see you then. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and graciously gave us unfailing encouragement and good hope, comfort our hearts and establish them in every good word and deed. Amen.